I got a lot of liquor and we are gonna make 10 different Long Islands with my vodka. Rum, we got tequila, gin, whiskey. We are making every single variant there is. Let's do it. Everybody who's gone out for drinks has heard at the bare minimum of a Long Island iced tea. It's an extremely strong cocktail and it tastes like garbage, but it gets you drunk quickly and it's pretty sweet so it's easy to drink. So to make all the variations today, we are going to load them all up and we are going to make all 10 of them. Let's see if I can list them without cheating here. We're going to the <clears throat> We are going to start with a classic Long Island. Next is an AMF, also known as an adios motherfucker. After the AMF, we will be doing a Tokyo tea, a Texas tea, a Long Beach, an Irish trash can, something with Satan, Georgia peach, LA water. What is the last Long Island variant that we're gonna make? I wanna cheat. Purple haze. That's all 10 that I know. If you know more, drop them in the comments, but let's make these drinks. So instead of making each one in order, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently today, guys. I'm going to make 10 drinks at once because they're all essentially the same ingredients. So let's just load up every single glass with ice. And we're using our hands. All right, let's, uh, let's organize these. All these drinks have essentially the same ingredients, they just switch it up a little bit. So to make this quick, kind of like we're bartending and actually making these drinks for speed, I'm gonna add pour spouts to each one of my bottles so that I can just dunk each one with liquor. We got our pour spouts. Now every single one of these 10 drinks are going to get white rum. So let's go half ounce of each, one, two, 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 one, two. That last one was a little strong, but hey, hey, that's the whole point. And now every single one of these is gonna get gin, except for this one on the end. So let's, let's try this again. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Every single one gets gin except for that last one. Oh, don't put gin in the last one. And now every single one of these is going to get tequila. Let's do it. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now is where it starts getting a little trickier. Most of these are going to get triple sec, but not all of them. So let's figure this out. We're gonna put our AMF right here. We're gonna put our Tokyo tea right here. This is for our slow gin. We've got a Long Beach in here, our purple haze. Let's make this our LA water. This is sex with Satan right here, Texas tea. I haven't added vodka to each one of these. I almost forgot the best ingredient. And I don't have a pour spout for this, so we're just gonna. That is a lot of liquor already. Man, that's crazy. So most of these are gonna get triple sec. So let's just load up the ones that we are doing with triple sec. There's our regular Long Island, our Long Beach, our Purple Haze, our LA Water, our Texas Tea, our Georgia Peach, our Irish trash can. So now that we have most of the base spirits, most of the mass pouring done, we're gonna slowly build these from left to right, starting with the Long Island. So the Long Island, it already has the gin, tequila, triple sec, all that good stuff in there. Now we just add a little bit of sour mix and top it off with some Pepsi. And our first drink is done. The classic Long Island iced tea. Now, this is probably the most similar and the most common is the AMF. That's what's next. We're gonna add in our sour mix again. Obviously you want soda in there, but we're not doing Coke because that's what's in the Long Island. Instead, we're gonna top it with Sprite. Now you're wondering about that orange liqueur that we missed out. Well, we're gonna use blue carousel and that's why a lot of people call it a blue Long Island. Still going though. Now we're gonna add our sour mix again. Maybe a little more. 
We're gonna take our Sprite that we just opened. We're gonna top it off with Mountain Liqueur. And that right there is our Tokyo Tea. Again, Green Machine, Green Long Island, whatever you wanna call it. Long Beach, guess what we're coming in with? We're going with Cranberry instead of Cola. So this one's a little bit boring. I like bubbly drinks, this one's not it. But that's your Long Beach. It's nice and pink, it's pretty. Drink it on the beach. Now we're doing our Texas tea. Now this one actually doesn't change too much. In addition to all the booze we already put into there, we're adding whiskey now. We're gonna keep it classic though, and just add the sour mix with more soda. Or cola in this case. That's a Texas tea. That one is probably the most similar, but not as popular. This one's disgusting. This is an LA water. As you can guess, that's why it's disgusting. We had half an ounce of raspberry, half an ounce of blue carousel, and half an ounce of melon. This one really just needs a splash of sour mix to it because it's already sweet enough. And this one just gets topped with sour mix. There's no soda in this one. Obviously water is a little bit more, you know, non-bubbly, non-carbonated. Um, it definitely looks like some sewer water though. They killed the naming on that one. Next up, the purple haze. Get our blackberry liqueur, about half an ounce. Grab our Sprite again. Now this one I don't like the name for. It's not really purple. There's not a lot of purple liqueurs out there. You could maybe use creme de violet for that, but it's not gonna be, it's not the same. That's not what you want. We're grabbing our blue carousel. For, again, doing half an ounce. A splash of sour mix. And this is how we finish the Irish trash can with a literal can of Red Bull in there. Easy. Did you grab your peach schnapps? No, you haven't? What are you waiting for? Get it. Add a half ounce right here. We're gonna grab our cranberry juice again. And that's our Georgia peach. And last, but certainly not least, we are going to grab our slow gin, our cherry liqueur. I love my trash can just leaking out here. <laughs> but that's why it's trashy. Ugh. Add a half ounce of each. Just a little bit of sour mix again. And surprisingly, more Sprite. That's it guys, that is 10 Long Island recipes that will absolutely have you blacking out. The only thing left to do now is to try them all and rank them. So, uh, oh man, wish me luck here. Fun fact, a little, little bit of Sin City, uh, let's call it uh, trivia. I don't know. Anyway, the first time I was ever bartending, literally my first day behind the bar, uh, the other bartender was like, oh, we need to go grab the iced tea just in case someone wants an iced tea. And I'm like, oh yeah, for Long Islands. And he's like, no, you're an idiot. There is no tea in a Long Island. Obviously, as you know, it gets a name because it looks like a glass of tea. Let's try the new drinks while I'm still sober. Starting with Sex with Satan. Nothing special, just like a slightly cherry berry Long Island, I guess. I don't think it's gonna be my favorite. Let's try a Georgia peach here. This is delicious. I'm ready for this one to be further down. We're gonna slide it right here. Let's give that a little stir, you know. Make sure we're nice and mixed. Try our Irish trash can. This is really good. This tastes like a blackout waiting to happen because it is a blackout waiting to happen. Purple haze. It's not bad. Um, I don't really think blackberry is one of my favorite flavors, to be honest. I think that's just what it is. If I'm gonna do a Sprite style Long Island, I would much rather have melon or peach or, you know, just blue carousel. Really anything other than that. My guy Tipsy Bartender and his LA water. Let's see how we did. That's actually pretty good. I think there's so much sugar, it kind of tastes like Skittles, like alcoholic Skittles. All right, a Texas tea. This should just taste like a Long Island with a little bit of whiskey in there. You guys saw I was using the highest quality uh, whiskey here. We got Zachariah Harris. This man is a straight ripoff of uh, Jack Daniels. Oh wow, I actually do like that a lot. The whiskey's not terrible. I like it, I think I might like that better than a regular Long Island. Let's get our Long Beach. I'm like, I'm sounding like this is a chore. <laughs> this one's good, obviously it reminds me of the Georgia peach, it's just, not as good, 
as a Georgia peach, you know, there's not as much peach in there. So we'll slide you over. Ah, uh, everyone loves a Tokyo tea. When I was a heathen and I would like to black out on the weekends, this was my go-to. Yep, that tastes like I am 21. The AMF. We had a joke when I would bartend. If you ordered one of these, you were not gonna tip us. And it was, you know, pretty accurate. Nine times out of 10. Oh, but it tastes so good. Why can't you guys just tip? And finally, we are on to the classic Long Island, the drink that started it all. It tastes like the classic. I'm gonna go with the Georgia peach. This is by far the most enjoyable, the best variation of a Long Island. It's peachy, it's delicious. It's lacking a little bit of carbonation, nothing a little, you know, splash of Sprite couldn't fix, but as it is, that's the best one, easy. I'm a bit of a heathen, as I said. I'm gonna go with an Irish trash can next. I feel like the Red Bull with the citrus just really crushed it. The color's cool. A lot of places aren't gonna give you a whole can of Red Bull in there, and they shouldn't. It's a little bit dangerous if you're gonna be drinking all night, but it's fun, especially for parties. Number two, easily. Now I'm gonna be a little biased with this next one. I have always loved Tokyo teas. That melon in there is just so good. It's refreshing with the 7-Up. Easily number three. And now I gotta apologize to my guy Tipsy Bartender. Um, his liquid Skittles, which is now known as the LA Water, was actually really good, um, despite the color. I don't know what it is. It's just like a couple shades darker of green, and it just is so much uglier than the Tokyo Tea. Go figure. For this next one, I'm gonna go a little bit classic. Um, not quite with just a regular Long Island, but I think if you use a quality, and I know people will probably shudder at the idea of using a quality whiskey in a Long Island, this Texas tea was pretty good. Let's go next with the AMF. Not too different from the flavor of a regular Long Island. The only substitution as far as flavor goes is using Sprite instead of cola because Blue Carousel is just another orange liqueur. Um, so this one really comes down to whether you like cola or Sprite better. Let's go next with... Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is tough because these are just getting worse. <laughs> I'm gonna put the Long Beach next. It was peachy. Um, I think if this one didn't exist, the Georgia peach, the Long Beach would be higher, but it does, and this is just a shitty version of the Georgia peach. So let's put that right there. I'm gonna go with the classic Long Island at number eight. Mm, you know, I'm gonna put Sex with Satan, that is the official name there, as number nine. Didn't do much for me. And finally, bottom of the barrel, Purple Haze. I'm just not a Blackberry guy, I guess. That's it guys, that is 10 Long Island variations. I don't know anybody who knows more than I do as I struggle to remember them all. Um, there was just so many trying to make 10 at once, it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm for sure a little bit buzzed now that I've tried 10 different drinks within 10 minutes. I wanna say a sip from each one was at least a drink of a Long Island, so that's a great way to start my filming for the day. Um, if you try any, let me know, and let me know which one's your favorite. Like I said, this Georgia peach is gonna be killer. I think that's a drink everybody should know for the summer. Anyways, that was fun. Let's do more variations. I'll see you guys in the next episode.